Hello everyone. So now today we are going to discuss about the VLAN, and then we are going to do some basic stuff. Okay. So let's discuss. See here, VLAN is nothing but virtual local area network. Okay. VLAN stand for virtual local area network. Let me write here. Local area network. VLAN stands for virtual local area network. Why we are using VLAN? What is the advantage of do using VLAN? We can say VLAN divide the single broadcast domain into multiple broadcast domain. VLAN divide into single broadcast domain into multiple broadcast domain. Example: If you take the switch here, this is a switch. You have some PC here. Maybe you can say this is a PC one. Okay. This is a PC one. You have one more. This is a PC two. And uh, let me give the number also. This is PC two. We can let me take my blackboard, okay? Or let me take the whiteboard. So this is a PC one, PC two. We have one more PC here. We can say this is a PC three. And let me take one more PC here. We can say this is a PC four, okay? So here first time. when we power on the pc because if you remember if we are not using the device that is our computer is not communicating after some duration the switch is going to remove all the mac address okay switch is going to remove the mac address i hope you remember that switch is going to store the mac entry in the mac table after 5 minutes they are going to remove that one okay so first time when this pc pc1 that is 192.168.1.1 is trying to communicate 192.168.1.2 first time this switch don't know the mac address of the pc2 so what he will do he will do the broadcast okay so frame will come here and he will send all the ports whatever ports you have from which port we are receiving the frame he is not going to send to that port he will not send here other than this port he is going to send to all the ports okay what switch is doing first time switch is going to send the frame to all the port other than from where he received that frame then he will learn the mac address and he is going to store in the mac table after that they will do the communication so this pc can communicate with this pc no issue but starting first time whenever he should switch is not having the mac entry he is going to do the broadcast so we will have the single broadcast domain imagine you have 200 switch and maybe you have 500 devices then how much big broadcast you will have in the network why means example let me take three switches here this is a switch to i can say I have another switch three. We can say three switches. I am taking. You imagine you have two hundred switches. Okay, I connected like this, and here also we will have some computer here. Okay, some PC we have here. I am drawing only two PC or three PC. Imagine you have two hundred PC, or if this port is forty eight, maybe imagine you have twenty PC here. Okay, here also twenty PC. So when one PC is sending the broadcast. Okay, when one PC is sending broadcast, we have the issue. So, if you have how many PC may be in your real scenario? Imagine if you have hundred PC, then how much big broadcast you will have? Single broadcast you will have means it will broadcast here and here everywhere it will broadcast. So, you will have the issue. Broadcast is not good for the network. So, what we are going to do with the help of VLAN? we are going to divide the single broadcast domain into multiple broadcast domain what we are going to do we are going to do we are going to divide the single broadcast domain into multiple broadcast domain example we will put this in one domain so whatever the broadcast we will have that will go here only okay that will be in this area only and we will have another broadcast domain example i will make some pc here so this is the separate broadcast domain this is the separate broadcast domain 
so whatever broadcast we will have that will be in the separate domain so what we can say in simple i am dividing the single broadcast domain into multiple broadcast domain single broadcast domain into multiple broadcast domain if you have anything broadcast it will be in this area only it will not go from here to here it will not disturb the network so our network performance will improve and what we can say our network performance is improve and easily we can do the troubleshooting and we will have the layer 2 security we can say okay layer 2 security also we will have so vlan help us to divide the single broadcast domain into multiple broadcast domain so how we can create the vlan so if you want to create the vlan just you go to the configuration mode and then you will write the vlan and give the vlan number if you don't know press the question mark he is going to show you the range then put whatever number you want to put from that range okay so example i want to create vlan 10 so i will write in the switch i will go in the global configuration mode then i will write vlan 10 and then i will press enter and then i will give name whatever name example i want to create the vlan 10 for the sales department so i will write here sale so this with this two command i will create the vlan in the switch in the cisco switch okay if you are still confused let me show you see here what we will do we will go in the global configuration mode then we will write the vlan and give the number and then you will give the name whatever name you want to give for this vlan you with this two command you will create the vlan but if you want to put this interface in that vlan then you need to go under that interface example this is a fast ethernet 0 by 0 then you need to write interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 and then you need to write switch port switch port axis you need to write in one line complete line axis vlan give the vlan which vlan so this port will go under vlan 10 okay so this port will go under vlan 10 so this way we can configure the vlan so let me revise the theory before closing this one vlan stand for virtual local area network vlan divide the single broadcast domain into multiple broadcast domain by default all the ports of the switch are in the vlan 1 okay if you see this one this one this one all these ports are in the vlan 1 by default all this port okay by default we have the vlan 1 inside the switch and all these ports is is in the vlan 1 so if you want to move in different vlan then go under that interface and write this command if you want to move in vlan 20 then write here 20 if you want to move in vlan 30 write 30 here this way we will do so this is a simple theory and the introduction about vlan why we create vlan means we can say vlan divide the single broadcast domain into multiple broadcast domain that's why we use the vlan and by default all the ports are in the vlan 1 and we can say that we have the different types of vlan we have the standard vlan extended vlan standard vlan range is i can write here standard vlan range is from 1 to 1005 and we have the extended vlan that range is i can write here extended vlan 1006 to 4094 if you are creating the vlan from this range then it is known as standard vlan if you are creating the vlan by using this range that is known as extended vlan okay so this is just simple theory we are going to do the lab so you will have more idea how we can create the vlan all that one now just try to remember we are creating the vlan we are creating the vlan to reduce the broadcast domain single broadcast domain into multiple broadcast domain we have standard vlan extended vlan if this is a range then it is known as standard if we are using this range that is known as extended okay i hope this theory is okay so we are going to do the lab in our next class this is just vlan overview okay what we can say this is a vlan overview this is simple only in interview if anyone asks you you can say vlan is used to divide the single broadcast domain into multiple broadcast domain example this is a one physical switch you are dividing this switch into virtual that's 
we can say in simple we can say this is one physical switch i am dividing this switch into virtually with the help of vlan but tell in the interview single broadcast domain we will divide into multiple broadcast domain with the help of vlan okay so see you in our next class thank you bye